and when we did these trials and we started with um, um, younger men that uh, were overweight or obese, we had, uh, we've also done this in young women and fit people and, um, uh, you know, all, all types of populations. And in our hands, every single time, uh, we see absolutely no difference in fat metabolism if you have 150, 160 calories of protein or if you had nothing. And so I remember my doc student coming to me and saying, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? We didn't see anything. I can't, what, what, this data are terrible, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, what that does is it shows that you have an option. You can eat something before bed and it's not going to increase, um, you know, the, the putting on body fat or anything. It's not doing anything to the body fat stores at that low calorie level. Uh, and so for us, that was kind of eye opening and it helps with some of the instructions we give to people because in general, people aren't eating towards that higher yeah. end of protein. And so we can say, this is a great time to feed to yeah. get your total daily protein intake up, which is probably the magic. It's, it's just getting the total daily protein intake to a level that we really want. Maybe not necessarily that it's right before bed, but you're usually home. You have access to food. Yeah, sure. so it's an easy time to do it. It's not going to put on fat. It might uptick metabolism 